Hey folks, welcome back to Mountain Core, the pre Steam Early Access version, we'll call it that. Releases in about a week. And let this thing go. Take my time here. Kind of looking around since last episode. Increased the priority on some of this. I did play a game on my own that they all kind of starved to death. So food is actually kind of an important thing to get on top of early and it's easy to get caught up in all of the rest of the game and forget that that they only come with a certain amount of like rock bread I think it's called and then they they run out so we need to cook on the work table well prepare on the work table butcher over here fill these cauldrons and then distribute the cauldrons into where they eat so that will be the feasting hall right there I've expanded the pantry a little bit the food storage so feasting hall is going to get a feasting table we'll do something like um, right there the food is cooked in the cauldron and then it is distributed into the feasting hall I'll put two spaces available. We need to make a couple more cauldrons, but as they fill up with carrots and what have you to make a soup, then they bring it over and drop it off. They'll then grab food, sit down. I'll put just four of these in right now and eat and then take off again. Eventually, they're going to need some bedrooms, which I think this area right here would be a bedroom area. So let's grab mining and oh how best to do this let's leave that space for whatever that's going to be let's put in some two by twos can i go further i can let's put a hall no hold off let's put a hallway up so this is very rim world like kind of mine this way in rim world and then we'll connect the doors uh, there. Okay, so room, entry, entryway with a door, hallway down into it. And we are going to need, depending on if we can put the meals together, we're still spring, so we've still got quite a year left, but next spring there will be a chance at a wave of immigration if our food is in good shape. So I'm going to plan for twice the dwarves that we've got right now since I'm laying this out. So mine you. And then we'll get back into what we were doing last time. Now, at any point, this could all be messed up because we could open up a big void and everything is, all my plans are sunk. And those voids sometimes have enemies in them. We saw them last time with all of these mushroom peoples. The fungalum. So a golem made out of fungus. You guys are working on this area. Let's expand the food stockpile. Ah, raw materials dropped into there. So there is a bit of a glitch at the moment to where as you go to expand things, it takes whatever you were dealing with last time and adds that to the next one that you that you manipulate. Let's see if it does it again. Add, you know, all games when they start out they start off with little little bugs here and there, and we report the bugs. Yep, back to raw materials again. So do keep an eye on the stockpiles and make sure they are what you want them to be. And I'm sure that bug is going to get stomped out here real soon. Raw materials, you are just ore. Yep, I'll take another look at those later. But we've got now a feasting hall with the potential of putting meals out here. Um, do we have a chef? First of all, I see it. Now I can't get rid of those rocks. Darn. Do we have a chef? That might be part of the problem. We have no chef. Aha. Uh -huh. We could really use some kitchen workers. I'd say at least two. All right. So blacksmith and woodcutter. What can we do without? Let's... This is a duplicate right here. So let's turn you, though, skill-wise... 
you are a better farmer so let's turn you into chefery and you are a better uh you are a better mason so we'll turn you into chefery so we got a good farmer and a chef and a good blacksmith and a chef okay let's see if suddenly food starts happening now to extinguish fires you need water and I forgot that last time. We will get fires in here where suddenly this guy will burst into flames. So it wouldn't hurt to have a kitchen, say right there. And in that kitchen, put a water barrel, high priority. And it wouldn't hurt to make another water barrel. So instead of rolling pins, let's switch you over to a water barrel get that made do we have we don't let's what are you doing who are you you are a journeyman carpenter are you building anything you're not you're delivering i need somebody to high priority build me that chest before we get any any uh traders in here and then I need that guy delivered as soon as possible all right so up in here we're starting to build bedrooms we are doing something we are there we go transferring ah we are bringing a f a uh I'll, I'll still call them a, a mushroom man over here to butcher okay so we've got some kitchen jobs happening now good time to go to bed oh that is anger under the uh, under the leaves there sound asleep okay you were you had one last job in your queue all right so down in here we need to think about let's put the smeltery outside uh room we need to make fuel to be able to start smelting things um if i were to just do something like that what do we need to put in here so a coke oven takes the that's red. Do we have... It's over here. Okay, we have some right there. So we need to crush that. So we need to take the coal and turn it into coke. And then the coke can be used in the forge. Unless you could use the coal too. It may be that I'm doing a redundant step here, but it still lets you see how it works. So let's put you up in here can i rotate i cannot so you're going to go there and i want an import and i want an export so that is you we could also do this with charcoal meaning that we fill this up with a whole bunch of 32 logs and then it burns and you get a bunch of charcoal out of it i'm going to go with just this and let's kind of shrink it up that's all we need right there and <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that you can still stand outside of this and do the work. But let's get this going ASAP. You are for making the... I wish we could get more of these going too. Making the crushed materials that will go into here. So again, every, everything becomes a high priority. Nothing becomes a high priority, right? Yeah, I know, I know. I will be guilty of that. Now you actually making anything i'm not seeing any meat getting brought back so you're really just disposing of the bodies at this point that isn't a thing in the game eventually it will be there was talk of that on discord all right so i'll take you up again let some things happen we could if though i, I don't want to put too many more orders in we're getting getting kind of uh uh, falling behind here, but we could build doors and drop doors into these places. Then eventually we could call this a bedroom, put a sleeping mat in there, and then put a bed in here. Then when the trading happens, which eventually is going to happen, what's our priorities look like in this area? That one, that one, these are all high priorities. So what I might have to do heck let's just do that how do you work around something like this one you really have too few workers trying to do so many jobs um i was going to say let's rework the priorities who would do this job this is a carpentry bench this is done by a carpenter you are carpenter we only have one carpenter 
who also is a farmer. Okay, so are there other carpenter jobs? The carpenter would be the one that also builds the things that are made out of wood. Besides working on it, they'll be, she'll, she'll be building the other benches or building all of these. So I think what we need is under the carpenter. Though I got to thinking, a carpenter may also be doing this job too, making the planks. How many planks do we have available to us right now? So all of your resources are here and... I, looks like we got resources over here too. I don't remember that third one. That maybe that's more recent. But resources and planks. We have 37 planks. Click on it again. Four of them are beech. Eight of them are birch. 25 of them are sycamore. So you can really fine tune if you want, including things like I don't want you to bring over just any block. I want you to bring over just the basalt blocks. So I want to make a whole bunch of this color so I can build a structure out here that's all the same color. So you can really fine-tune things if you want. Right now, I'll just be happy with a block. But um, we're getting this built real quick. Good. That is our carpenter right there. Yeah, she's our carpenter, and she's a little stretched out. So let's think about this. Um, we have lots of miners and woodcutters. Let's make you also a carpenter, woodcutter and carpenter. We'll go that route. And maybe somebody else will come and join you and help with some of these projects. But this one, <clears throat> there we go. So you, what do we want to crush here? So you can be, I see, so your ores. You're all going to be ores, but specifically, I want you to be coal. And specifically, I want you to be the hematite. So we always have one of these available, hauled over, and ready to go. You are built. You are. And here, apparently we've... Hmm. I thought I would have shown the other one, too. Just ore in general. Normally, there's a list of different kinds of materials and what can be crushed, if I'm remembering that correctly. So maybe I've got to actually do some more mining to be able to do that. I want you to be bringing in... Okay, you will be all of the uncut gems. Let's increase your priority. I always increase the priority on the ones that are being brought over. So that we make sure we've always got something in here ready to go. You got dropped off into there. Good. And you're dropped off into there. So you are going to be a... Um, oh, yeah. You are a stone. So we got lots of stone over here ready to turn into blocks. Okay. Um, slow you down a bit. The days go by so quickly. I never feel like I've accomplished anything. <clears throat> Okay, so we have built a fishing pole. What's it going to take to get this chest built? We need a chest going. I'm surprised we haven't had a trader yet. Maybe it's waiting for a chest. So the whole point of getting more carpenters was to finally get somebody to do that. So let's look at the priorities for carpenters. This is a priority here. None of the other ones are. For carpenters, let's slow down the priorities on these. And... It's now a matter of building any more import-export pallets and then doing the two carpentry workstations. I think we're about there. So we should be able to start fine-tuning this guy. Um, you require what for a chest? Four planks and barrel hoops. Are they available? They're not available. Okay. When something doesn't get built and you get frustrated, quite often there's a logical reason why so we need <clears throat> barrel hoops barrel hoops are sitting over here let's say guys oh there's some buried under there too let's speed that up speed you up go through and find the places that have what you need and kind of give them a, a little coax and get them coming Oh, and let's also increase the priority on our input. There we go. So you guys will kick you up, but 
you, I'm going to take you to the very top. Let's make sure that that really gets done. In fact, I'm wondering if we're going to find somebody up here picking it up as we speak. Here comes the barrel hoops. Okay, now we're going to get the chest built. I like to talk about something and actually watch it happen for once. <laughs> They have a mind of their own. You can coax them a little bit and tell them what you hope that they do, but sometimes they don't. All right, we're bringing more and more over. Now, can somebody do the building part? We are high priority. We are high priority. So we just need a crafting a chest. Just need a carpenter to show up and go to work. Okay, zooming in, grabbing the planks, grabbing the hoops. And getting to work building a chest. There we go. Bingo! Dropping the chest off in the export pallet and waiting for somebody then to pop over here and put those in. One of them's most important, so I've only got one high priority at the moment. Okay, someone's going to do that when they don't have their other jobs of, uh, pressing at the moment. So this needs to get built. Let's kick that in in one chair. Make sure that's done. We need you guys to be cooking. So I've got no way to tell that one. I can tell the kitchen to kick the priority up. Okay. We don't have anything to cook yet. Mm-hmm. Let's grab some mushrooms and see what happens. I haven't harvested mushrooms before. So orders, I guess clear. There's no real harvest choice, just clear. So let's see if clear does it. Um, kick the priority up on that so we can watch it happen though. I think they're all going to bed. It's still a chance somebody would get the order. Nah, I think they're all on their way to bed. Are they hiding under there? Yep. They're, they're in there sleeping. Okay, so you guys do what you want. It kicks into four, speed four all by itself. I heard tapping. Hmm, maybe it was the music. Okay, so with these other ones being built, we're going to have something to trade. So already we have these two in here ready to trade when the traders show up. And being a, a high priority, they will restock it as fast as they can. Whatever you have marked in your import palette in your trader after these traders have been here they will then come back next time with what you were asking for so it wouldn't hurt to oops wrong one you go away there we go so you are an import let's i want to tell them to bring all the different seeds and have those available so we can plant whatever we need to next spring all right so you are making a second chest all right so let's there are ways to choose how much you want to make of different things i haven't fine tuned that yet whether or not there is okay there's a limit and i want the limit to be two i don't know if that means build two more or if that means to um stop if there's two on the map or if that means there's two in the stockpile so i haven't figured that out yet um it wouldn't hurt to get another barrel going so i think what i'm going to do oh barrels right there to control things is i'm just going to take them out of here and put something else in place put the rolling pin back one plank turns into a lot of these things so one plank makes a fishing rod, a plane, a rolling pin, a shield. Two planks makes a shield. So these are pretty cheap. They're also cheap in the sense they don't sell for much in the trader, but they do sell. And so that is a quick source of, of things. Let's see, we're still waiting for this to happen. I'm guessing that's a farmer job that would do that. Though it's still morning, yeah, they're still taking care of getting something to eat. And we're still waiting for a water... No, I never put it in there. I never did that. We need a water barrel over here so they have a place to grab from for putting out fires in this area. And it wouldn't hurt to have more of those available, say, down in the bedroom area. So we're 
mining this area out let's put a bedroom in here to see how this works bedroom like so and the door has been built over here sandstone door good um one thing i didn't do well last time for building constructing door we get to choose if we want that to be stone wood or metal and then what kind of stone we want it to be so you can really fine-tune things as you go right now stone is fine so i'm not going to be too picky um let's go ahead and put a door in right there so we'll get a door in these two eventually we get a bedroom in these two but we're still waiting for the rest of the mining to happen um we'll set up a bed here but until that happens because we need linens let's just put a sleeping spot in there and that should give orders to get all these blocks moved out of here let's hurry that up so that this looks a little better sooner water bucket is there i'm going to tell them to put the water bucket outside they're going to constantly use the water bucket and want to drop it somewhere. In fact, there's a couple of them there. So let's, hmm, let's go over here with the water bucket. So you would be stockpile and products. We'll do that. You are going to be only, I'm hearing a thunderstorm. Yeah, we haven't had a good crack of thunder yet in this game but it does happen there'll be a bolt of lightning to come down and light this tree on fire um you are going to be products but you're going to only be buckets we get a couple of buckets in there we'll do a high priority all the buckets land there then they go off fill them up at the river drop them off here drop them off where's the other one right there that one's already been filled in fact i think uh yeah you're carrying a bucket right now and you're going to drop it off there no we're gonna go refill it okay okay i'll i'll, I'll let that one go <laughs> got our table built and got the one of our thrones built stone chairs or i i don't know what they're called no they're just called chairs here okay dwarf fortress they were called thrones right been a while since i played that that was that's that's quite a game that's why i'm enjoying this one very very similar okay we have ground up some jasper gems we have nowhere to put them we need some internal storage don't we we really do let's put together a quick room of well, let's just dig mine let's dig out a let's go this direction this time big storage room there and oh we'll tap a couple of entrances over here not a super high priority let's actually let's prioritize just the beginning of it and let's prioritize these bedrooms right here let's get all those dug out otherwise that will be done whenever it gets done all right planks uh raw materials this sort of thing just sits here I don't even realize it's still here uh products let's do it from this map or this this over here it might be a little easier there we go plank 17 so let's kick this guy up to well, we are at high priority just not the highest let's make sure you are the highest and we probably brought all of our logs in that's what's going on okay so let's we've got tools just sitting out here don't we what we do you guys are messy bring these tools in oh it won't let me i don't have a place to put tools is that it you are tools i do hmm I don't know, something going on there. Let's start chopping some more trees down. Every other one, boy, suddenly dark and thunderstorm growly. Okay, let's grab you, you, there's the rain. All right, get some more trees in here. They do replant. See if I can find some babies. Uh... There's a little one. There we go. There's a baby tree. So they will start to replace themselves. Um, you know, I could get up in here. Let's take you out. You out. Hard to see this in the dark, huh? Take you out. And something like that. Okay. So there's a variety of trees coming in. Boy, it gets dark. And let's pull these bushes out of here. Chop. Now clear. You guys, so we get more of our our storage area these left 
Okay, so they've taken out the mushrooms. Are they in storage? You are two purple helmet mushroom spawn. Okay, so we have spawn. Does that count as food? You are fist mushrooms. So we should be able to make some mushroom soup soon. Ah, someone's already started putting mushrooms in here. And unfortunately, there isn't a way for me to figure out what constitutes a soup at the moment. You've got mushrooms, powder, and berserker. Yeah, mushrooms in there. Let's cut some more. I want to get some food going, and I don't know how much it takes to make each one. So... I don't know if there's any reason to preserve them at this point. So let's go ahead and clear all of you guys. Turn you all into food. Looks like that's all... Is that right? No, that's all those. Any other mushrooms around? Eventually, if I can see any deer getting into our area. I don't want to go hunting elephants. I don't think it's going to work too well. You guys are off getting water. Okay. I thought we had visitors. We have horses and we have wild boars. I suppose we could hunt our own horses. I don't know that we can outrun them. <laughs> Looking for more mushrooms while I'm talking. Um... So I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know how dangerous the wild boars are. But I'd like to get some meat in here and get some soups going. <clears throat> let's let's do something. Let's go on a wild boar hunt real quick. So we'll do what we did last time. Let's make everybody new squad. No, assigned a squad. Okay, you guys are all going to suddenly be military. The Novice Brawlers. And you are still assigned the weapons from before. We'll add... Oh, I see. These are the weapons you just happen to have on you at the moment. Because of the job you were doing. Ah, okay. Let's do that. And let's go tell everybody to hunt these three. And we'll see if this is the uh, last episode of this series or not. <laughs> What happens if we do that? Do we lose horribly? Or do they just take them down? I guess we'll find out. I wish there was somebody closer. We do have horses nearby. You know, that does make more sense. I mean, I don't think I would want to eat horse burgers, but um, they're right there. So let's do that. Let's take you to training which cancels that and let's hunt instead this guy we can't okay answer that question all right is there anything right over here any other wild boars anything moving the trees do vanish as they move in and around them okay only elephants over here all right hold the shift down to go a little quicker and just to verify, we cannot hunt our own horses. Okay, so we are going after these. Let's go after these two. And let's see how quickly these guys go out there and dance with them and not get anything done. Yeah, they're still they're thinking about things. They're going to go find their tools. Yeah, I need I need I need that knife. Hmm. Okay, they're off. They look like they have. Uh, serious intent and off we go I think this one will trigger when these are attacked kind of help each other out let's speed this up a little bit get them over there and let's see what happens but I'd love to bring in some meat and get the food started a trader has arrived what timing okay um Oh, I should have said, show me. I didn't. Let's look around. Not there. Turn away if this gets you nauseous. I'm going to zip over and look for him. I'm not seeing him. Okay, so we will try to watch both things at once. But you guys could do your thing over here. Okay. Are we being injured? Oh, we just about died. 
Okay, answered that question. Everybody, retreat. Is flee here? Retreat, okay. Yeah, retreat, get out of there, go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, will they eventually give up? They will. All right. We no longer have any military. <clears throat> yeah, that 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 didn't work. Uh, you, military, you guys are now back to uh, miners and chefs. And yeah, okay, don't go after the wild boars. They will take you down. Okay, do we actually lose anybody there? You, health? Happiness is low. You're probably the one that got your butt kicked, huh? Bleeding profusely. Ooh. All right. Are you going to make the trip home? You are madly tapping. <laughs> that one's delirious. Yeah, you're madly tapping at that uh, stone right now. Yeah. Okay, traders are on their way in. Let's you need a good distraction over here. Here they are. Okay, you guys are coming in. Oh, and you've got some seeds with you. And we have two wagons worth. Can I get to that wagon? No. How about you? I can get to you. You got a bunch of seeds on you, you've got a bunch of pine logs on you. And wheat hops. Interesting. So they've got things to sell. They're going to drop into here. We want what next time? Let's just put hemp seeds in here. Make sure that those arrive. So hemp down to the H. Hemp seeds. We don't have any of these built yet. Let's kick that one up, hopefully before they leave. We have two different coins worth of chests available in case that bugs out on us i think we're going to be fairly good here you need to be rolling pins right <clears throat> there you are so that gives us three things let's quickly build another uh export pallet turn your priority up and see if we can get you built in time and anything else that we could sell right now that we can make more of later. We have a lot of this hematite, but we don't have any of it crushed yet. So I would imagine the crushed version is worth more. But let's watch what's happening here. These guys are coming in. They want to buy our plane and our fishing pole. Fishing pole, that's right, food. I'm thinking about getting meat from wild boars. I forgot we can go fishing. Ah, okay. Remember that. Okay, so we bought these two. We're going to go drop them off in the wagon. And then we're going to drop gold and or silver into the wagon to buy those items. Then they're going to take that and sell us any of these if we have requested them. Hops, uh, spawns, barley... You have got hemp. You've got elephant hides, potatoes, potatoes. Okay, so let's buy. We have no hemp linen. Let's buy hemp. And let's buy hmm, potatoes. So what would that look like? Flour, you are grain. Nope, we cannot roll over to potatoes, so you must be something else. So, how do you find foods? Malt? Vegetable crate. So, tomato. And it was brought up in the... Uh, uh, I'm not seeing... These are all different kinds of mushrooms, huh? Carrots? Yeah. Potatoes must come in a bag in the Discord that it's kind of annoying to have these arrows bounce around, have to keep chasing them. So that's being addressed. So wheat sack, vegetable sack. Okay, I bet you there's potato in here. Sweet corn, potato. They do have potatoes, so let's buy the potatoes. All right, so we've got some gold in our coffers. If 
it matches, they will drop off the potatoes and go over and get the gold. So they bought the rolling pin. They're going to go drop off some more silver. Hey, we got potatoes. Give me some of that gold. Ah, perfect. Your settlement no longer has a plane. We sold the planes, which we need to build things with. Yeah, that, that's a problem. But we do have the one plane available here. And we'll use that to build more planes. Let's kick these up in priority. See if we can make a few more things to sell before they leave. Okay, so we could still, and you need to be a higher priority, you are. So we're dropping off more goods to sell and they'll, if they still wanna buy any more, they'll come in and uh, grab those. Okay, so they're grabbing those, they're putting more coins in. Though now we've got silver and silver, don't have a space for gold. And that's usually where things kinda go wrong, but we are getting a lot of two potatoes two potato i don't know if that means two potatoes or two sacks of potatoes i don't know how much we're going to get out of the uh, uh, dinner wise out of that we'll we'll find out um there was something else to sell what was i thinking of shields do we have what do we have in the way of shields can i find that here resources um, are you here? You are. And I've got only one available. So, no, let's not do that. Okay. We'll leave it these three here and we'll just keep getting these replaced and see if they'll buy more of them. But that's how trading works. Whatever we have set up in here, they will be sure to bring next time. Unfortunately, we don't have these built yet to make a bunch of requests. So, before they leave, and they usually stay about two days... What was the sawing? Sawing must have been over here. Oh, we're making more things. Like, what did you just make? Dropped it off. Made a fishing pole. Okay. But it's morning. Everyone's getting their drinks. And food. Oh, we have food. Okay, so you are an iron cauldron with potato and purple helmet mushroom soup. And you are... A cauldron of berserker mushroom potato and syrup powder mushroom soup. Mmm. So let's put these on a high priority. Say, come on over here. Move them over. And they'll start eating. So let's kick the priority up in these as well. And those. There we go. Make sure that they make the next batch too. And out of the Coke oven. The oven. Let's make sure that we've got... We're making coke out of coal okay and <clears throat> kick your priority up so that actually happens <clears throat> kick your priority up so somebody turns this into coal to run over here to come bring out coke and yeah there's, there's, there's a lot to do a lot of chains okay we're still buying we're still grabbing all these things and we're still turning them into whatever it is that they have available to sell. I'm not seeing gold thrown all over on the ground, so they're still working with the silver, it looks like. Okay, so we're still bringing more things over. Good. Little by little. You're doing what right now? You're idling. You are a journeyman swordsman. Oh, you're with them. You're not one of mine. Okay. Yeah, you need to be working if you're one of mine. I think we're getting close to the end here. <clears throat> Is there anything else that I want? We have only two silver coins. Okay. So potatoes, they bought all these. Your hops. Over here, logs. Can't afford the elephant hides, I'm pretty sure. Will it tell me what they're worth? It will not. If I click on them, they're worth 21 gold. Okay. Now, I don't know how it translates. I'm going to make a guess. 10 silver to 1 gold. And uh, you know, I was kind of making change sort of a thing. Uh, made another fishing pole. Going to drop that off. See if we can sell one or two more things before this is all done. Anybody want it? Uh, yep, you'll take that fishing pole. Thank you very much. Drop that off. And go and drop off some more silver. Now we've got two and one. So we have three silver. And if we wanted more potatoes, they sell for 15 gold. Wow, they're expensive. So we've been able to pull four potatoes out of this. Oh, and one of these soups was potato soup, right? 
Uh, potato, yeah. So they had already used one in there. That's good. Now, priorities keep resetting on me. I want to make sure that when that's done, they bring it back over and start cooking again. So it's easy to kind of forget about it, and then things just kind of stall, and you don't realize why. So the priorities do tend to reset and go back to kind of a neutral on you. All right, so we're getting close to the end of this trade. We're still bringing over a few things here and there. Rolling pin just showed up. They're still dropping off, and we may still get one more potato out of this. We'll see. We're going to be harvesting our own potatoes before long. In fact, I always try to kick the harvesting priorities up, or the planting, to make sure that that happens. Kind of micromanage that before we're into summer now. I want to make sure we get as much food out of this as we can so we can get more dwarves next spring for immigration so that we can get more done next year. We could also think about expanding some of this. I know the carrots always... I, each carrot that they harvest and cook, I think it gives them two seeds. So this will almost double. So we could have them pre... Well, winter time. Winter time. We'll get more of the area dug out and ready for spring planting. Won't do that now, though. All right, so that's what's going on. I want to hold off because I'm already out of spring in the summer and we still have so much we haven't done so I'm going to pause the game and just think about things and get some things accomplished let's get some bedrooms in let's get sleeping spots I always put them in the space across from the door and they build instantly boom we don't luckily luckily they don't need to go and you know cut down bushes to get the materials to do that with and then let's grab beds and rotate we'll put the pillow at that end over there and that end over there there we go so there's eight bedrooms getting ready um could throw doors in i don't know that there's a bonus at this point for that um let's haul away and yeah, we'll do that it's not going to mean anything till the linen shows up but at the very least yeah, we just built all of those. We'll get the stones hauled out at the very least. That stone so that these beds are available. They get their own private rooms. But, and we still have more more mushrooms. Let's go ahead and kick the priority up on those as well. Get that guy delivered. And that way all the food that is available now will at least be up here and available to, to work with. You are fist mushrooms, yeah. So... Otherwise, before the game gets going, let's kind of reevaluate things. We have the carpentry workshop. We are building things to sell. Pretty soon, we're going to be done with this trade. And we don't want to spend too much time over here. We have too many other things to be building. So let's take all this to a, a more of a neutral, with the exception of bringing in the materials and getting ourselves a plane that one to work again uh we don't need any more barrels so let's turn you off there we go fine on barrels the rest of these are things that we can sell and their priority is down lower okay so that kind of cleans you up you in general there we go yeah we'll keep the priority there uh building planks was important so you're going to stay there. Logs being brought in, high priority. Planks coming out. Let's kick you down. You're, what do we call that, a high, and you are the highest. Okay. Stone. Okay, you. If we're going to be building all those doors and everything, I need to keep this going. Well, let's make you a high priority. And everything coming in, highest. Everything leaving high. Okay, I think that's, I'm comfortable with that. So you, I want to get more of this going. So you guys are all high. You are, there we go. That's why we're not running. We need crushed ore coming out of there. <clears throat> and I need you to be the hematite. Yeah, there's a lot of choices. 
There we go. Need you specifically to be the bitumous coal, which is what you are, right? I'm not making a mistake here. Yep, yeah, you are that. Okay. So that gets that going. You are the highest priority, and you need these things that we are going to create here at the highest priority. So this is the next chain to get going so that we can get to making tools. Let's see, we got we need to make iron. Smelter, you're next. Okay, so smeltery, let's put you in like there. We need the bloomery furnace, which needs a which needs those tools. I see down there where it says, well, let me, I don't think I can click away. We're, oh, there we go. We don't have any planks at the moment. So let's kick this back up. We do need to get this going faster. So you and you. So you're a high prior, highest priority again. You need to get built when you can. And I need some... <clears throat> need two imports. Three imports? We need the fuel. Let's click right there. We need the fuel coming in. And we need the... Uh, what we're going to turn into so the 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 ore of, of the iron in and then output so let's make some more space here we'll do that output then export will be blocks and plates and there I think there was something else so that looks pretty good let's kick all of you up into all oh, that priority right there okay so that makes our metal and then once we have the metal made we need to be able to put out the fires when this thing lights things on fire <laughs> I've had that happen so you are kitchen let's add another kitchen somewhere like right there and let's add another water barrel nearby so putting out the fire has to do with how far they've got to walk with the water and I have no idea how long this episode's going I didn't bother to look at the clock it feels like it's been about an hour so I might be shutting this one down here pretty soon but let's put in one more station here room so you will be the smeltery and I see we have room here to add we aren't fully mined out yet let's do just that let's get these mined out and we connected okay so that's no good um no you're the smeltery okay minus yeah you are the what am i thinking of here smith smith not smelt you're there okay so you are the smithery we'll, we'll call you you need a forge which needs the fuel that we're getting out of up here. R, you don't rotate. Okay, so I kind of want you to be, get you running again. Maybe, well, I wish I could rotate you. You really don't rotate. Some of the models probably aren't created yet to be able to rotate them. So, probably in a place like that. I don't want to block all these pathways. And that blocks a pathway, that blocks... Yeah, that's where I want you to be. So we'll, get, we'll wait a second here and get these uh, mined out while we're making coal up here. And eventually we'll be making the uh, iron ore, which we'll drop into here and make iron blocks. All right, we good? We... Oh, we need to add more space. Okay, so you're all there right now. I need you sitting... Yeah, probably there. And let's add you guys in. Okay. And you are the smithy, you are the smeltery. They're both the same color now. Caught my, my attention. So import. What are we now? You are the forge for making tools. So there's going to be several imports and outports. I inputs and outputs. <laughs> let's do... This is in... This is in. We'll do that, and we'll do a couple of outs, and eventually be quite a few more in here. Okay, so priority-wise, let's kick all these into a higher priority and try to get these built. But we do need... Actually, 
we probably need uh, these built before we get too much more of this going. We have enough right now to get us started, though it would be nice to get this happening. Let's kick this up to highest and get these delivered so we can get that process going. Then we will... I see our traders are gone. Okay. And potatoes are still sitting over here, six of them. They'll eventually get brought in. Priority is probably low on it. Yeah, that might get it brought in quicker. Are we here to start building or making more soups out of? But down over here, we got that delivered. Soon we'll get... Actually, that's all we need. This is the output. So we just need someone to walk over here. So what does that mean? You need a blacksmith to walk over there. Do we have a block blacksmith? Blacksmith. We have two. Okay. So blacksmith runs that, runs this, and runs this. So eventually we're going to need more. To get more, we need more food so that we get a better immigration in the spring. We're, we're in the summertime. So it's kind of working out one episode per season right now. So maybe we'll go a full year on this series, but try to get these all out before the early access release. So let's call this one done here. And any comments I've, I've recorded episodes one and two at the same time so i won't be able to answer your comments from episode one in this episode in case you're wondering when i'm going to do that so i'm gonna re i've recorded both of these at the same time now i'll get them released and then i'll read all the comments from both of them and put out episodes probably three and four and and then i'll uh We'll, we'll I'll wait for the early release to happen, any more updates, and see if there's more features that might be added before then, and, and we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.